Here we go with the Ninja Foodie Max. We're going to do pizza, homemade pizza in it. So, for ages now, I've been reducing down my sauce. That's tomato and basil sauces. There's garlic, there's onion, in it, and so on. Got me little buffalo mozzarellas in there. We made homemade pizza dough with, would you just like to show me the, the flour? Turn around. This is the OO Extra Fine, that's your pasta flour. So we've done it with that. And with butter and water and salt and yeast and milk powder. And Abby's just rolling out her half. And then I'm gonna roll out mine. Uh, don't go too big, because it's gonna fit into the machine. Now, Abby's gonna do hers the traditional just baked way and I'm doing the traditional fried way the frittata pizza frittata um, where I'm going to fry the base then stick it into the, the, the ninja but for the time being that's what we're going to do so it's going to be the tomato sauce it's going to be the mozzarella and I've just started grating some cheddar because we do like a bit of cheddar on it but it's going to be a simple margarita that good we like margarita and my granny was called marguerite so that's close enough I could drink a margarita. I could make it a margarita. Oh, my, my hey, should we, we should, we should, we should be together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, crack on. So you've got to make it sort of fit into the, the ninja. That's cool. That's good. So more square than round, I guess. Unless you're going to do two small round ones, because I'm going to do two round ones, I, I think, for mine. I don't care about the shape. You just want to eat. Is. I, I think I like just random shape. Yeah, man. Random. Sometimes I make yeah. them really round. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, go on in. So spreading on, spreading on. Now the trick with this is to not make it too liquid. So you've got to reduce it down if you're making it with chopped tomatoes or anything like that. Uh, generally, if I'm just doing an, an easy one without too much fuss and too much stuff and nonsense, not putting too much effort in, I'll just use tomato puree. Because it's a nice kind of consistency and it doesn't make your pizza soggy. Uh, when we were in Naples, I was disappointed with how soggy my pizzas were. They didn't seem to be cooked in the centre of the base. Except that one that we had that was really, really good. Well, that best one was the one that they fried. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm doing in mine. So that's that. Are you going to put your cheddar on as well or just go for the mozzarellas? Um, you put the mozzarella and then the cheddar. What? See, now I'm putting mine the other way because that's how you do it. Actually, it's not. How you do You're it. chopping it. You're supposed to tear mozzarella. Such a heathen. Thanks. It's alright. But I think I'm okay seeing as I make pizza more often than you. I made it more times in my life. Um, probably not. Yeah. I'll be honest. I was a teenager before pizza was invented in England. That's a lie. No, seriously, <laughs> pizza just didn't exist. Yeah, it did exist. It didn't. Nobody had heard of it. Everybody. you got to remember, this is the days when the things you'd win on a game show were like... Oh my god, shut up about that game show. Oh, <laughs> last night, because oh. Al was like, oh, we've got to do something different tonight. Well, I'm bored, we're doing the same thing every night when you're off, because I'm very rarely off just eating some mozzarella. So we watched the Generation game from 1973. It was great. It was great. It was um, the clothing, the haircuts, the weird looking people. Generation game. Cuddly toy! Walk! Right, okay, now that looks pretty good. So, yeah, we go over here, we can switch this on. Now, what we want is to put it really high. So, we're going to go... If we go on the roast, we can go up to 220. Okay, if we go to the bake setting, we can go to... 210? Well, that's no good. We're going to stick with the roast. I thought there was a 240 possibility on here right okay so start let's get this really nice and hot and then we'll get that in so we've got to work out how we're going to put that in okay so we managed to get the pizza onto the baking sheet because we couldn't work out how to get this in so you're going to have to slide it very carefully down to saying add food well in we go Dad. It'll work, it'll work. Let me grab part of it. Ow, 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 Right, okay, right, now let's just squeeze.
squiggle it around with your bit of mozzarella. This is why we make them in the oven. No, we don't make them in the oven. Yes, we do. Nobody wants to know how to make a pizza in the oven. They want to know how to make it in a feeding max. In the ninja. Done. Okay. Pizza frittata for me. So I've halved my bit of dough. Right, so I'm going to roll that out. Crash it down. Bit, roll it out. Smaller circle. So I'm going to start by frying my base. This is how the original pizzas were done. So you fry the base, get it all bubbled up. Right, and then you put it into your oven with the topping on. So here we go. So into my pan, just with olive oil in. So you're frying it up like you would say a pop of dom, a chapati, something like that. Okay. Now, Abby thinks I'm weird despite having a gorgeous one in Naples. But do you remember the pizza bombers I used to make? Yeah, you made them once. I made them a lot of times. Mm -mm. What you do is you get your dough, you make your pizza dough, then you make small bits, you put your tomato and your cheese in the middle, and then you roll it up into a ball and deep fry it, and it's amazing. Maybe so you should make a video on them. This is looking good. Maybe we should. Maybe we should do mm -hmm. that next yeah. time you're over. How to make your pizza yeah. bomber. Two weeks. Yeah, it is a couple of weeks, yeah. Because I'm working so hard, and you're studying at school, and my internet is down. Terrible internet. I know. Look at that. So here we go, get the tongs out. Drip it down a bit. Move the oil off the heat. Right Abby, your pizza's been in for seven minutes. Have a look, see if that's ready. It's not ready. It's not ready? Looks I'm gonna, awesome. I'm going to turn the heat down because it's too hot. Okay, so I'm going to top my pizza frittata. Pizza frittata. Pizza frittata. For the rest of your day. Pizza one free. Philosophy. For pizza up. frittata. It's problem free, not worry free. It's a kuna matata, not pizza matata. <laughs> so I, I yeah, mean, but if you if you're gonna get the words wrong, at least get the words right. Nah, come you on know. Then. Bit of artistic license. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Yes, yeah, so am I. Yeah, but look What's how artsy this is. Look, and you no. mozzarella. Oh my god. We could have even put more pole. This is proper buffalo mozzarella de campana de chimacha pucha chu de 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 from Italy. It tastes amazing. Did you have one on its own? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Good. I was still zoomed in. Mmm. <laughs> she made that. I ain't got enough because I've got to make the second one as well. Brilliant. There you go. And that's me piece of potato ready to go into the ninja. Here she goes with her marvellous pizza onto my pizza plate from my father for Christmas. No, that's Eloise. Eloise bought that? Yes. Ah. See, this one I got from my father 25 years ago, I guess. How's that look? That looks good. Looks really good. You happy with it? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, mine are now ready to go in, and it says add food. So, here we go. Oh, God, yours is so much easier to put in. They look good. Yeah, nice shape. Here we go. You can have a look. Mm, wow, they look like pizza. Yeah, man. One's round. <laughs> and earlier on, I had some oyster mushroom plumps and I just popped them in. Oyster mushrooms aren't great. Right, five minutes it's been in, so I fried the base, it's been in there, five minutes almost. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Piece of frittata we have lift off. What do you reckon? That's looking good. Still looks like pizza. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's good then. That looks ace. Pizza frittata. 
Look at that. So, this one I've got some chili infused uh, oil, which I'm going to just put on that one. And that is my pizza ready to rock and roll. Now, you don't eat pizza with knife and fork in Italy because they think you're a bit of a tomato really. So, here we go. Look at that melty little mozzarella. Oh, oh that base is good. That base is really good. You need to have a try. Okay, but not the one with chili and don't feel. I'm really enjoying this. Now the flavour of this pizza is absolutely brilliant. And the, the, the fried base, it's gorgeous. And the sauce is really good. The mozzarella is really good. It's seriously good. Bit of peach on. Mmm. Seriously good.